A quick uh, important quote from uh, Microsoft, from Bill Gates. He said, drones overall will be more impactful than people think and all recognize in positive ways to help the society. As you can see here in the, in the picture, drones are in every aspect of our lives. It's into surveying, mapping, inspections, uh, firefighting, rescue, delivery, uh, weddings, filmmaking, everywhere. And when speaking spe specifically about the digital asset management, uh, the dam concept now is considered one of the most important factor for the property owners and construction companies and governments. For example, property owners can benefit from knowing the status of the buildings and their landscapes and the maintenance requirements. The construction firms use it to do the progress monitoring reports and send the latest updates to their clients. And governments, they can use it to do, to have a digital twin of their uh, infrastructure like, uh, like the roads or bridges and save it into their asset management system. So why are we using drones? From the beginning, we can say that drones are at least 50% less cost than using the conventional methods of land surveying or the scaffoldings or ropes for, for doing inspections for the buildings. It's 70% faster, and I'm going to show you a use case, a successful use case where we have achieved really 70% faster approach than the normal conventional methods. And the last but not least, it's, it has zero human error and 100% safe because you're not jeopardizing the safety features of your people and labors. The process is as the following. Before even the inspector starts, the, the drone operator should have a proper license and authorization from the, I'm talking here about uh, Dubai, from Dubai Civil Aviation and Ministry of Defense. And the pilot has to have a commercial, a commercial uh, license as a drone pilot. The inspector or the drone pilot visits the site, plans the site path, whether it's, uh, it's, if it's a topograph topography survey to be like uh, horizontal and, and vertical lines, or if he's scanning a building, it will be like S shapes or horizontal shapes. And this one, he plans it on the, on the uh, software of the drone. Then the drone will work autonomously. You can say semi-autonomously because there should be an operator and a co-pilot to monitor the, uh, the operation while it's happening. And then the second step is the UAV, or the unmanned uh, aerial vehicle, that takes the drone captures, collects the data, and saves it onto uh, its memory card. Or it can also be uh, sent by uh, 5G technology, which my colleague is going to talk about, to the cloud where the control room will have access and live stream of what's been captured. And the third step, which is the most important one, is the data analytics where you process the data, you analyze your pictures, you, then you build your 2D uh, maps and 3D models and the uh, final inspection report. One of the success uh, stories for uh, geodrones that uh, we have done a drone facade inspection to a 32 stories high rise building. We have finished the whole building, four faces and the roof in a matter of three days compared to maybe three to four weeks if you, are, if you are going to use it using the conventional EMU maintenance units or, or uh, scaffoldings. Uh, we have saved the cost of the, uh, of the property owner by uh, 50% and we have generated a digital uh, twin of the building and an inspection report that contains 744 anomalies for the building in a matter of only one week. Multiple softwares can, are, are in the market can be used for uh, uh, surveying and mapping such as PIX4D, uh, DJI Terra, uh, Global Mapper or Transdesk or, or many other, depends on the client uh, requirements and preferables. And what are the final results? An inspection report with an access by 24 by 7 to the client where he can see all his assets digitally transformed into the system with all the uh, anomalies and effects presented on top of the assets. So he can click on any point and be uh, directed to the exact real picture and the uh, analysis of that anomaly.
and they can also have access to annotate and add more to the system. Or a 3D model that can be used uh, with the, as a BIM model and into a Revit system. Or a 3D colorized point cloud that, very, that has millions of points up to one centimeter accurate compared to the, to the, uh, to the real as is. Finally, the market size for the inspection uh, using drones will reach about $36 billion by uh, 2030. And here in the GCC, it's uh, estimated as almost $0.9 billion worth of the market share uh, of using drones. And uh, there are an overwhelming growth of the CAGR uh, rate by uh, up to 14%.